Nishinoshima volcano has erupted in Japan. This is not exactly in the mainland Japan. This is in the, one of the islands, uh, which uh, island arch leading to the Japanese uh, archipelago. And this is a small island, and it's, uh, as you can see, it has erupted. It has created a lot of, you know, ash and the gas clouds, uh, which uh, has an optical signature. You can see that they are not very clear. They may change a little bit the local environment. As you can see from a distance, it looks like that. Uh, it's not inhabited, so we have to see it through a ship or through a space. It's like the Honga Tonga, and it creates this ash cloud, as you can see, it's turning red. Uh, well, reflect by the reflection and refraction of the light of the or reabsorption and uh, releasing of the light from the sun uh, this is very impressive as you can see oh god look at that it's very deep uh, source volcano kind of a strato volcano but in a different geological setting that's what we know from the space i will show you an image it's beautiful you can see that this is the most beautiful image you may see from the space it's one of these uh, very low length uh, orbital satellites. And from the air, it looks like that. We get closer to this, and you can see that this volcano is really, really extending. There's a few plants around there, but inside the uh, crater itself is a hell. And the night is shining like a, like a sun almost. And uh, the location of it is in here. You can see that in Pacific Ocean, it's island arc. And uh, we have one old and one new one. They are due to the breakage and flexure of the crust, oceanic crust, oceanic uh, plate in this area and creating subduction and rising volcanoes. Volcanoes change. They're usually 250 to 150 to 400 kilometers away from the subduction zone. Uh, 